always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Well, I think we'll stay dry tomorrow, but by the time we get to Monday night and Tuesday, we'll have a chance for uh, mainly rain across the area. The winter storm watch covers Oceana, Nuevo, and Macosta counties to the north. It does not include Grand Rapids, Muskegon, Holland, Kalamazoo, or Battle Creek. So again, if you're going to be traveling north, this is uh, for Monday night into Tuesday. There could be a, it could be cold enough that there might be a period of freezing rain in those areas. The other green that's on the map here, first of all, the green boxes represent flood advisories for areas where rivers are quite high. Comstock Park here in Grand Rapids, the river coming up to flood stage uh, crest is moving through Gr uh, Kent County right now now so that should start downward again tomorrow uh, also the st joseph river at niles is quite high and the maple river also over in um, the uh, maple rapids area as well so and then the flood watch there is for uh, the uh, ottawa county area that's only along the river uh, near the Eastmanville Robinson Township area. So once again, I'm gonna uh, move out of the way here so you can see where the ice is possible. If you were to draw a line from about Whitehall to Saginaw Bay, up in this area, there could be some mixed precipitation, which could include some freezing rain for Monday night and during the day on Tuesday. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, Storm Track Live. Really not much going on here. There's been some snow and even some mixed precipitation in uh, northern lower Michigan and also the UP. That's fairly light. Most of the snow is up in Canada at this hour. We're looking for a cloudy, dry day tomorrow, but then the rain moves in for tomorrow night and Tuesday. It's not impossible. We could actually uh, hear a rumble of thunder here Monday night from Grand Rapids off to the south. Uh, taking a look at the, the forecast, uh, the clouds kind of increase here tonight. And look at what happens during the day tomorrow. We stay cloudy. There may be a break or two in the clouds. If you're south of Grand Rapids, the wind is more southeast, and it should be a little bit warmer. To the north, the winds turn a little bit more northeast, and that will start to bring down some colder air. And that little front just hangs right over us. You can see the precipitation starting. Uh, this right here is Tuesday at 5 a.m. We've got a big glob of red over Kent County here up to around Greenville. That could be a, a thunder shower with uh, mainly rain. The freezing rain is falling up toward Mount Pleasant and Big Rapids off to the north. And we continue to hang on to this uh, same pattern with possible freezing rain to the north here during the day on Tuesday. Heavier snow will be off to the north. There'll be a band of heavier snow up toward Traverse City and Alpena. Uh, just uh, some lighter amounts in the northern part of our uh, viewing area to go along with the rain and freezing rain. A look at some temperatures across the area. Mid-30s off to the north of Grand Rapids tomorrow. Low 40s for Grand Rapids. And we can see upper 40s by the time you get down toward the Indiana border. So quite a temperature spread across the area. Low 40s here the next couple of days for Grand Rapids. Mid-20s after that. Rain for Monday night, rain on Tuesday south of Grand Rapids, a mix to the north, which could include some freezing rain. Some snow for Thursday night and Friday could be a couple of inches, and there's a chance for more snow showers on Sunday. What a beautiful day it was, though, today. It was awesome. Just, it was fantastic. Yes, yeah, sunshine, 48 degrees. We warmed up 36 degrees from uh, the early morning low temperature. That's a lot for February. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Bill.